If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question before listening on. Our first step in solving this question is to draw a picture of the wave, particularly for the third harmonic. Now in this drawing, we want to note that there are three loops present, and we know that because the question refers us to the third harmonic. Also, the length of each of the loops is half of a wavelength, and that's shown in the diagram. And then finally, the overall length of the string is indicated by the letter L. Now we can see from the picture that there are three loops, and again, they're each half of a wavelength. So we know that three of those half wavelength loops can be set equal to the entire length of the string. And what this will do is allow us to find the wavelength. And so what we can do is multiply both sides of the equation by two over three. And then on the left hand side, the twos cancel as well as the threes. And then we can substitute in the length of the string as it's stated in the question. And then once we multiply, we get a wavelength approximately equal to 5.33 meters. And this is a value that we're going to be using throughout the problem. And to do that, what we're going to do is try to find the position of the nodes first. And in our picture, the nodes would occur here, 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 and here. So there will be four of them. We can see clearly that the first node is located at zero meters. The second node is located at that half of a wavelength. So we would have to take the wavelength that we discovered and basically divide it by two. And when we do that, we can see that the position of that second node is at 2.67 meters approximately. The third node is located right here. Now that's one, two half of wavelengths. So if you want to write that mathematically, it would be two half wavelengths or wavelength over two. The twos would cancel, leaving you with just a full wavelength, which of course is 5.33 meters as we determined. And then the final node is one, two, three half wavelengths. So that would be three times wavelength divided by two. And when you plug in 5.33 for the wavelength, you get eight meters or the full length of the string. And then the first node was at zero meters. So that would be the position of the first four nodes. Now the anti-nodes are going to be at the crests of the waves. So both here, here, and here, there'll be three of them. And we can see that those are located not a half of a wavelength, but only a quarter of a wavelength. And so we can symbolize that first anti-node with wavelength divided by four. When we plug in the wavelength and divide it by four, we get roughly 1.33 meters. So that's the position of the first anti-node right here. For the next one, we just have to count off how many quarter wavelengths it is. So it's one quarter wavelength, two quarter wavelengths, three quarter wavelengths. So that will be three wavelengths divided by four. Plugging in the wavelength again gives us four meters for the position of that second anti-node. And then the third and final anti-node will be one quarter wavelength, two quarter wavelengths, three quarter wavelengths, four quarter wavelengths, and then five quarter wavelengths. And so we'll plug in the wavelength and we get roughly 6.67 meters. So those distances would be the positions of the three anti-nodes. Now for part B to calculate the vibration frequency of the third harmonic, we have to recall that the frequency would equal the speed of the wave divided by its wavelength. Now we've already figured out the wavelength, of course, but what we need is to calculate the speed. Now the speed of a wave on a string is equal to the square root of the tension in the string divided by the so-called linear density. The tension in the string is given to us as 49 newtons. It's the linear density that we don't know. So we actually have to step back another time and calculate the linear density. Now that's equal to the mass of the string divided by its length, both of which were given in the question. We just need to remember to convert the mass from grams into kilograms. So when we do that and divide, we get approximately five times 10 to the minus three kilograms per meter for the value of the linear density. Now we can plug that in to the speed equation and calculate the speed. So we've come down here to show that calculation. We've plugged the tension in as well as the linear density and we get approximately 99 meters per second for the speed of the 
wave on the string. Finally, now that we have the speed v, we can come back up to the frequency equation, plug that speed in along with the wavelength, and then that'll give us the frequency. So when we divide the speed by the wavelength, we get approximately 18.6 hertz as the frequency for the third harmonic. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can see additional videos. Remember, you can send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.